Last weekend, I went to see Les Miserables in Salford in Manchester with my dad. I live in Weatherby, so I had to get a train across, and because I'm a wheelchair user, I had to book assistance. Transpennine say that you can book assistance via WhatsApp simply by texting assisted travel to a number. So I thought I would give that a go. I made them set up WhatsApp assisted travel booking some time ago, so this seemed like a good opportunity. Booking via WhatsApp didn't work very well because Transpennine clearly haven't thought about how to go about booking assistance via WhatsApp. I mean, I made my original request at 9.32, in which case they automatically asked me if I'd booked assistance before, and then they responded 15 minutes later at 9.47, asking for my name and postcode, and then at 10.10 they said, um, you know, c c can you tell us what your mobility and access needs are? And, and it, this is a rate of like one question every 15 or 20 minutes and there are so many questions involved in assisted travel like choosing which trains you'd be going on um, choosing wheelchair spaces all the rest of it yeah it would have taken several hours to make this booking so i had to abandon trying to book it via whatsapp so i phoned transpennine assisted travel using text relay for deaf people at about quarter past 10 in the evening it took about 15 minutes and you can see the number of questions that go back and forth. It's just not going to be practical to do it on WhatsApp. I made clear as part of the booking that I wanted them to book the first class wheelchair spaces. They seem to have a problem with that. But in the end, you know, they completed the booking and they said that they'd got Coach C seat 10 on the way out and Coach C seat 15 on the way back. It turns out that Transpennine don't have any first class wheelchair spaces in Coach C on any of their trains. On the first type of their train, it's the wheelchair spaces are in Coach C and G but they're separated from the first class area via this door which isn't wheelchair accessible and this is some kind of standard class silo at the end and then on this one the nova one the wheelchair spaces are only in first class so that's coach e no wheelchair space in coach c and then in the nova two similarly the wheelchair spaces are in the first class carriage there's no wheelchair space in coach c and the same on their nova three Wheelchair spaces are in Coach E, and there's none in Coach C. So it's pretty clear that what they were talking about was this wheelchair area in the Class 185 Coach C, which is definitely not in any way first class, and is in this unpleasant silo bit at the end of the coach. Cold and drafty, and in general just not nice. So they were adamant that they had booked me a first class wheelchair space, and I could have quite easily bought a first class ticket, but it wasn't actually first class. Now four years ago after my involvement the office for rail and road they sent out memos to the train operating companies telling them to not do this quote you should ensure that passengers using a wheelchair are not able to buy a ticket which in practical terms they may not be able to make use of this is that the context of restrictions in the accommodation meaning wheelchair users would need to be able to transfer to a seat not all wheelchairs can do so and they need to be made aware of such restrictions before purchasing yet they put me onto a train that had no first class wheelchair spaces and were adamant that i was actually booked into a first class wheelchair space i mean i'd have thought that Transpennine just didn't get the memo, but clearly at some point they did, because when you try and buy a first class ticket on the website, they make clear it is not possible to access first class in a wheelchair on Transpennine Express. I mean, clearly that is also very out of date, because as we've established, you can on Nova trains. In fact, the only wheelchair spaces are in first class, but still. I thought I'd finally got it all sorted, until on the morning that I was due to travel on the Saturday, they emailed me to say that both of the journeys I was intending on catching had actually been cancelled. I needed to rebook the wheelchair space for the new train because I knew that two trains had been cancelled in a row and there was every chance that the wheelchair space would have either another wheelchair user in it or passengers and their luggage and I just didn't want that stress having had that experience before. So I went on WhatsApp at 8.51 in the morning and when nobody had responded for half an hour I gave up and booked via text relay. That call also took 15 minutes and was very stressful, if nothing else, and because they said that they, wouldn't, they didn't actually have reservations to offer. No wheelchair spaces available on their trains. I was like, well, what on earth am I going to do? And we went back and forth and back and forth. 
I have no way of physically reserving some things that's not there, he said. And then randomly, oh, I have managed to just managed to secure the wheelchair reservation on the train that I originally asked for. So what were the benefits of booking, do you think? Well, when I turned up, it turns out that the wheelchair space hadn't been reserved, despite what they promised. The train was absolutely rammed. The wheelchair space was absolutely stuffed with luggage and people that I had to insist got moved before I could get on the train. And this is what happened when we arrived at Manchester. At Manchester, Victoria, it's the station staff's job to put the ramp down to get me off. This is substantially quicker than the guard doing it. The shot card, oh. Oh, shot card. Thank you. This is when they don't turn up with a run. Finally, the guard knows me, so someone's coming down for you. Thank you. Okay. Is that a win? Thank you. Got to get through the masses. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll have to um, move back so she can get at the ramp. Just yeah, I just didn't want it to dispatch from the. <laughs> Hi, right, I'm not you. even able to get anywhere near here because yeah. it's just been <laughs> mental. Oh, tell Jeez, me about what it. a day! The last oh. two trains cancelled. Yeah, yeah. Crackers. The staff are lovely, but I wish they weren't necessary and the station staff had done what they should have done. Oh, that's grand. They were Thank good. All good. Happy days. Thank you. All right, mate, no worries. You take care. Uh, Maybe things would be better setting off for Manchester on the return. Thank you. Okay, Carson. I'll give leave to ring that for me. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh. You're right. I can't. The toilet's out. They're out of order. Toilet out of order. toilet right then but I knew this all would by the time we arrived in Leeds and of course the toilet broke the instant that we left Manchester. Meanwhile there were no real time reservations on this train either and the audio and visual announcements are broken. What do you reckon will things finally go right at Leeds? Yeah. That I was in a wheelchair at hospital and there were like there was an excellent chatty wheelchair user in the other wheelchair space. She was going from Manchester to Huddersfield, but I had to carry on to Leeds and then come back because the lifts were out at Huddersfield. Oh, this isn't looking hopeful for a ramp, is it? The usual then. Uh-oh, do we need a bus? Do we need a bus? Um? Do we need a bus? No. Why, are you getting off here now? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll tell you. We're, we're both getting off. <laughs> Do you want to go first or shall I? Oh, I'm happy, I'm, I'm quite happy. I've got to wait a bit for the bus anyway, you go for it. Uh, 
I'm not looking at that side. No. No, 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 this is why I always book ramps so that they reliably turn up. And, and we always get off straight away. We never get carried on to the next stop ever, honest. Yeah, you've got someone quick there, okay? Yeah. Alright. Thank you. What was that then? That beeping? It was me trying to contact the guard, but you got stitches that point, haven't you? Uh, you yeah. Thank God for that. Alright, no worries. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. It's alright, we're getting off the wrong but at the other side where you did a pig. You want to actually go back a little bit? Oh, it's alright. It's normally the platform stuff that you do well that's not fair, not funny even. I can't even get them the right word, so. Yeah, normally the platform staff do it, but they forgot to go. There's a sub definition of the word normal that doesn't fit there, because normally things go wrong. Alright, how am I going to. You! Club! And it's like, where are they? Woo! Woo! Oh, the dog did that! Help me! Can I shut it? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. No, you're okay. I didn't mean to burp then. No, you're alright. No, it's all that. Right. Some dirty guy, we just where you're stood. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Did you tell the guard? Uh, yeah, no, the, the guard, guard saw it on the yeah, camera. He to and told him to stop. Seriously, I saw him peek. Some disgusting people about, isn't it? Tell me about it. Yeah. You could say that again. Yeah, some pe some, some people just don't care anymore. Don't go around. Take it easy. Go to your own. Alright, mate. Alright. 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 Alright.